What you see now is a pre-release version. The final product may differ in content. Hello and welcome to the walkthrough demonstration of Death From Above. Without further ado, let's get straight into the mission. Our objectives are to eliminate a battery of enemy vehicles and take the Seven of Hearts out the deck. The map shows several targets north of our airport and the location of the UAV to the northeast of our attack chopper. So let's go. Eagle 4-2, this is Royal. You are cleared for takeoff. Proceed with extreme caution. Sneak the UAV in, destroy the grads, and sneak out. Intel says the Seven of Hearts is still in base. So don't waste time and eliminate him too. Royal out. Seven of Hearts is not something you like to get. Well, we better do what the lady says and get our chopper airborne, plotting a careful path north to our fire position. As we can see, our chopper is equipped with an advanced radar system, which might just come in useful. We can see what happens if we take the wrong decision and go into unfriendly territory. That beeping sound is the launch of an anti-aircraft missile. It looks like we've strayed off course and have gone into enemy territory. We'll have to beat a hasty retreat and move to our safe firing position. Enemy position zero, seven, nine, zero, six, two. Switch into the action menu to assume remote command of the drone. Activate the map and plot the waypoints for the UAV to follow. Meanwhile, our attack chopper is in auto hover mode, so we don't need to worry about it going anywhere. But from here, we'll be able to strike the target from a safe distance. We can see the BRDM in the distance. The data on the screen to the left is the Apache information. The data to the right is the UAV information. We switch on our laser guidance system and paint the target. The heads-up display also contains other information. The DST value, slowly heading towards zero, represents the distance between the missile and the target. The ACC data represents the likelihood of an accurate strike. 0.76 represents an ideal value for this kind of mission. And strike. Eagle 4-2, Royal, confirmed that the target was eliminated. Positive hit, we've got a positive hit. Seven of hearts is confirmed. Keeping the laser designator assigned on the target, we can easily take out the Grod battery. Royal, this is Eagle 4-2. All grads eliminated. RTB. With the grad battery down, we can return to base, but that doesn't stop us wreaking a little more havoc on the way home. Notice our target painted, and the DST reducing to zero, and strike. Notice that the second missile distance to target data is displayed after the initial missile strikes. We have two missiles in the air, and two targets to take out. Strike. We plot a path home and can return to the helicopter. Remembering to disengage the auto hover, we can turn south and head towards the airport. Once we land, it's mission complete. That brings us to the end of this mission walkthrough. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the advanced weapon systems and look forward to putting them to good use in Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead.